Beneath the ruins of Chernobyl lies a horrifying artifact, the elephant's foot. This is not melted nuclear fuel, but a fused mass called corium, formed when the 1986 reactor fire blasted fuel rods together with sand, concrete, and metal. The result? A radioactive monster spewing deadly levels, over 10,000 rentgens per hour. Getting close for any reason was unthinkable. So despite the dangers, we have pictures like this one of the deadly mass. But how? Well, from a safe distance, workers, or liquidators as they were called, rigged up a crude wheeled camera contraption and pushed it slowly and from around a corner towards the elephant's foot. Another photo, a timed selfie by Russian nuclear inspector Artur Korneyev, is arguably the most famous and most disturbing photo of the elephant's foot. According to an investigation by Atlas Obscura, the ghostly image of Artur is likely not due to anything spooky, just the shutter speed, as is the time-lapse-like streak from the flashlight. But the graininess, the distortion you see in the photo, that's from the radiation. The elephant's foot had penetrated through at least two meters of concrete from its past location. There was concern that the product would continue to penetrate deeper into the soil and come into contact with groundwater, thus contaminating the area's drinking water and leading to disease and deaths. However, until 2020, the mass has not been moved much since its discovery. The elephant's foot remains radioactive, a grim reminder of Chernobyl's devastation. While radiation levels have lessened, it still radiates heat and death, serving as a stark symbol of the enduring challenges of nuclear waste management and the human cost of such disasters. But what happened to Artur Korneyev? Artur has likely visited this area more than anyone else, and in doing so, has been exposed to more radiation than almost anyone in history. However, Artur Korneyev is miraculously still alive, 